Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Or the... Nah, I don't know, that thing. That magic. You see it in the movies. I wanted to retire from what I was doing, you know? From that, that line of work. Be a good guy for once, a family man. So, I bought a big house. Came here, put my feet up, and thought I'd be a dad like all the other dads. My kids would be like the kids on TV. We'd play ball and sit in the sun, but, well, you know how it is. Now, the GTA series is one that I, have for some reason, never really been attracted to. I mean, not really, like, ever. I don't know why. It's just something about the series that never really grabbed my attention. It's one that, while it always looked really, really cool, it just was never the type of game that I wanted to get into. And with the recent announcement of GTA 6 I thought it was maybe a good time just to check out what all of the hype was about considering GTA 5 has been around for 10 years now so I love the way it opened up and we skipped a little bit through all of the setup screens and everything uh, I automatically see that the voice acting is really top-notch which I somewhat expected because I always hear about how well the voice acting is uh, the movement as well in this opening level as far as the bank heist was a very good tutorial uh, with regards to how to move your player, how to do certain things, uh, aim, shoot, running. So I really enjoy it. I wanted to know or I wish I can go back and see what this game looked like on the 360 uh, when it came out because this is the Xbox One version running natively on my Xbox One and it looks damn good I'm, I'm sure the upgraded version for the current gen console consoles PS5 and Xbox series systems look even better but again I am running this on the VCR Xbox One so it's pretty doggone old and the TV itself is uh, I don't think the TV really matters with the game capture since it's capturing directly from like the output not necessarily like the display if that makes any kind of sense because like there are certain things about my TV that you don't see here uh, so you wouldn't see the actual TV screen but it's one of those ones that I'm just impressed from the jump again this still isn't my type of game though even from the story uh, I I don't know, I'm not a fan of like heist and stuff like that as far as in video games. I like more fantastical sort of adventures and whatnot when it comes to playing video games. So I will say it was uh, a little interesting, like figuring out what to do at times as far as grabbing the money and whatnot. Uh, said green markers, I think it said, so it was um, somewhat challenging with my color blindness. Uh, at times with uh, seeing green it, for me it's different shades of green and red not so much just red and green um, in totality so in this case it was a bit hard for me it's one of the things I like about even say a, a Redfall a couple of the games I played they have really good uh, settings for people like me who have color blindness even if it's mild now this section was kind of weird to me uh, because I was attempting to follow the directions to switch between characters and for some reason it just was not working for me. I don't know if the down button on my controller was just stuck or if it was something else. So yeah, one of the things, I actually died a couple of times during this section 
before it just allowed me to skip. I don't know why it wasn't allowing me to skip through C to section and skip here. And this is actually like the third or fourth time I died trying to uh, do this. So luckily it gave me the option to skip and I opted to kill the security guard. I'm pretty sure I could have just wounded him, but something told me that this would not be the first person I would have to gun down in this operation. So uh, again, the voice acting in this is just really stellar. Uh, this is a game that I am really impressed and not too often do I come away, especially with a, I would say sort of game like this, but just in general, I don't expect much from games of this ilk when it comes to the voice acting portion. I expect it to be decent, um, good if not, but not necessarily phenomenal. And one of the things I see on this, and unfortunately I actually capture more than what this video is going to detail, getting more into the cinematics of things and the aftermath of this bank robbery, I just thought the voice acting was absolutely amazing. Uh, the cinematics, the immersiveness of this game, just from this part then to the introduction or intro opening of it, it was very much reminiscent of a movie. So I totally understand why so many people love this series and why the trailer for 6 just broke records, especially based on how just any intro good 5 started out. I can only imagine what the rest of the game is like. Uh, I will say the gunplay is very fluid very easy um, in many respects especially for someone like myself who is not uh, the biggest third person over shoulder sort of guy the aiming was very very easy um, it was very easy to get a beat on those cops but I felt weird if, if you've seen me talk about Call of Duty and whatnot before uh, you know that I don't I have this thing about killing real people in games not even like all a version to it I just don't tend to gravitate toward games that my main antagonist or the main entity that I'm dealing with are the human beings. I don't know why, it takes me out of the game in, in many respects and even this part, it took me out of the game uh, with the shooting while somewhat is oddly satisfying and there was definitely an air of tension with regards I think is this way I died. I got a little bit too gun happy in one section of this and uh, too Rambo-ish and I think I got shot clear blown in the head because I was not paying attention whatsoever um, to the cop. Oh yeah, he got back up. I thought I had uh, shot him dead and I think it's a cop. Or maybe not. Uh, we about to find out short we are we not. Again, the setting, yep, there I am. Kill shot right there. I totally forgot about the cop that was hiding in front of the uh, hood of the car. One of the things I didn't like was that I was I started pretty much back at the beginning of this section, which wasn't that bad, but I would have liked to have been able to get to the point where I was back running outside again pretty much immediately. But you know, games work the way they work in that regard. So this is again back. This time, well, since I knew what I was doing, I had an easier time uh, going in and shooting the cops, working the cover mechanics. Still don't understand why, as far as the game is concerned, the character decides to taper off his mask. I thought that it was a better story decision as someone who is a player. I don't know this character. Um, I don't know what he looks like. And I thought maybe the reveal, say, in a getaway vehicle might have been better. Uh, but at this point, I wasn't really into... I don't know, it kind of took me out of it just to a degree. But again, that's a narrative direction. Uh, it's minor, in my opinion. But I like the anonymous nature of your character at that point in time. Especially as you are uh, gunning down a bunch of cops trying to make your getaway. Uh, see here, like I said, the shooting mechanics, the cover mechanics were really, really good. Uh, one of the things I really enjoy, say, about the Gear series is their cover mechanics. And I see shades of this uh, compared to the Geards 
series as well. So I see Shades of Gears and that sort of cover mechanic. Even though Gears didn't invent the cover mechanic, uh, that's a game series that's synonymous with uh, using cover when you are in uh, sort of firefights like this. So it's very cool to see it implemented so well in this game. Again, this is a 10 year old game when you really think about it. Which debuted on the 360. So at that time where we had Gears and Gears 2, it's Gears 3 on the 360, yeah, and Gears 3 uh, on the 360. So uh, it's just one of those things where. So I, again, I like the cover mechanics. I like how things work. And a momentary disruption. People don't know how to come in and knock. <laughs> uh, so I, again, I love the setting. I get as though I'm in this small snow uh, covered town in the middle of nowhere uh, just from this you, you feel very isolated you feel very uh, 80s action movie ish in my opinion yeah I don't know how this cop got all the way up inside our perimeter right there I was like who else is shooting Yeah, I'm like, where is he? Where is he? Like, I hear the guy still shooting. Okay, here they are. Here's some more. Let's get him. Yeah, I agree with him. How many cops does this small town have? It's really baffling when you think about it. This must be the whole Darwin police force. A lot of families going to be very sad tonight, unfortunately. And I'm like, how much ammo do they have? I mean, I know this is a game, but you have to go like, how much ammo? I mean, you just have rounds and rounds in your pockets. Like, come on now, you're holding a bag of money. Where do you have room for ammo? It is very good when it comes to the presentation. You do feel like you're playing an action movie, a heist movie. So I, I couldn't notice. I felt like I was injured, so I, so I was moving slower when I was trying to run. Uh, if so, I really liked that mechanic. I liked how, because it didn't re doesn't really have a health meter where I wasn't paying attention to a health meter. Because I know I got shot a couple of times during the course of this. Finally getting into the getaway car. Get in here. Jeez, what took you so long? Shut the fuck up and drive. Woo, did you see that shit? Trying to get away. Of course, obviously nothing is gonna go to plan, according to plan, because you know things have already been screwed up. Classic action movie bear. Bust out the window and shoot out the window. Oh, he's dead. Can you fly, Bobby? <laughs> oh, I guess he really can fly. He's dead already. I like the scene, the transition uh, from the cutscene to you actually driving the vehicle. Um, I will say that the driving mechanics were pretty solid, pretty smooth. Uh, almost reminded me of, say, like a Forza Horizon 5 uh, sort of mechanic. I thought it was very smooth in that regard. You felt the speed, you felt the uneasiness of being on the snow slash ice slicking roads here. Uh, so there was a bit of uneasiness to control, as you see right here, when I cracked up against the tree, uh, trying to make that right trying to beat the train let's see will we make the train will we beat it will we beat it? let's go let's go let's go let's go I don't think we're gonna make it and nope nope we got clipped Jesus. gotta make it now and put to the chopper get to the chopper you guys all right Fuck. come on ditch the car all right we can go this way to the chopper no hey stick to the plan what stick to the fucking plan come on now, walking on foot, gotta get to the chopper. Where? I forget where it says this was set, because it was five years old. Why does the dude have a rifle? Like, who is this guy? Is he just one of the townsfolk? Hey, 
I refuse to believe he just went in townsfolk. Because that's too damn convenient for this guy to have a rifle. I don't know. But that's where we're going to end it for right now. More later.